Hi, I'm Michelle Renee Hyatt of American Quilter Society, and we're here at AQS Quilt Week Branson. We are in front of the Show Me Sampler quilt display that we have as a special exhibit for this week. And we're here with Clara Cartwright, who is one of the quilters, as well as one of the folks that actually designed these quilts. So why don't you tell me a little bit about this? We have six here of the quilts, and this is something that you um, started off as a class, correct? Yes, myself and my friend Carolyn Coonrod decided to teach the class, and we had some of our members asking to learn some new techniques. So what we did was we incorporated as many techniques as we possibly could into these quilts. So there's several different blocks, the largest one being this 24 by 24 depicts the, the lake that we live on. Okay. And this one is painted. So I designed the pattern for it and then handed it out to everyone. They painted their own blocks. Okay. So that's one of them. And then one of my favorites is the thistle block. And so that's one that you designed yourself, yes. correct? Yes, and it, it actually has several techniques in it. It's got applique, regular piecing, paper piecing, and then of course embellishment with the little uh, thistle bloom. Perfect. So. so was that something that you took into consideration when designing the quilt? It sounds like you were looking for Missouri themed Absolutely. types of blocks, but then also different techniques to teach your students? That's correct, that's correct. Excellent, excellent. Right. And so, tell me a little bit about the border. I love the border on this. Board, the border we're calling the Ozark Mountains border. It's actually, the technical name has several of them, but one of them is Delectable Mountains. But it's the Ozark Mountain border in our world. Excellent. Uh -huh. And so how long did it take you all to, do, to make these? Well, we taught classes over about three months, every week. And then, of course, at Christmas time, we took a little time off. But then everybody had an assignment to go home and complete that block. And so you would start them in class and then they would finish them? Right, and hand them out the patterns. Perfect, so, perfect. What yeah. other blocks did you design? Uh, the funky chicken. <laughs> <laughs> and the chicken symbolizes Missouri. We have tons of chicken houses when you drive around. <laughs> They're everywhere. This perfect. is the, the state animal, the Missouri mule, and I saw a picture of it, so I drafted that. And I'm not a computer person, I drafted it by hand. So it's got a lot of three-quarter inch squares in it, and there was a lot of Oh my, these are too small, but that's what that is. Fabulous. And this is our only president, our four te sports teams. Everybody recognizes the Gateway the Arch, Arch. Yes. our state bird. And then your dogwood. The dogwood, right. Was there one block that was more challenging than others for you and your students? I would say the thistle and the mule. A lot of people had problems with the Missouri sunflower because of the way the gathering, and it's just several different things going on with that. I think everybody loved the Lady of the Lake block, which is the red and gold in my quilt. Uh -huh. Fabulous, fabulous. And what was the best part of this quilt for you, as far as the making of it? The best part, I think, was to see everybody coming together and learning and the great aha moments. And it was nice, it was very rewarding to put the last stitch in the binding <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Now we know that this quilt exhibit has gotten a lot of um, people talking here. So uh, how has that been for your guild? Has it brought you some good attention? Or your yes, group, it I has. Suppose? It has. We actually, part of our group went to the Quilted Cow yesterday to volunteer to help fold fabric. And people were coming up to us because of the t-shirts we had on, <laughs> saying that they saw they saw this lake at the show and we told them that we were the makers and they were, they just said phenomenal and gorgeous and things like that. Well, it is really, really excellent and I love it and I love that we can see it as soon as you walk in. So we thank you for sharing your special exhibit with us. Thank you. Um, and we hope that you will come to our American Quilt Society Quilt Week here in Branson and see this exhibit in person. Thank you. <laughs> thank you.